Hi, I'm Judith Unger, international artist. I created this exhibit to raise awareness and encourage past, current, and future women artists unrecognized in their time. Where are all the women artists? Women artists were not recognized in major art history anthologies until 1989. Let's sing to courageous women artists painting nude self-portraits when they were not allowed to draw from nude models. Let's sing about Frida Kahlo, 1907 to 1954, Mexican painter, only widely recognized after her death. A 1933 Detroit News article described Frida as wife of the master mural painter who gleefully dabbles in art. Let's sing about Judith Leister, 1609 through 1660, Dutch painter whose painting signatures were replaced with the signature of Franz Hals by art dealers. Let's sing about Artemisia Gentilski, 1593 through 1653, Italian Baroque painter. In 1616, a self-portrait of a female nude was commissioned by Michelangelo's nephew for the ceiling of Casa Buonarote. In 1684, Michelangelo's great-nephew added draperies and veils to Gentilski's work to preserve modesty of the female inhabitants of the house. And let's sing to Julia Margaret Cameron, Indian photographer. Critics derided her softly focused and unrefined images, considering her avant-garde photographs amateurs. She is credited with producing the first art photos in the history of photography. And let's sing to Lee Krasner, 1908 through 1984, USA painter, overshadowed by husband Jackson Pollock, Krasner was an established abstract artist well before she met him. Signing much of her work as LK or not at all, Krasner attempted to escape presumptions about femininity in the work of women artists and her ties to Pollock. Let's sing to Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, 1875 through 1942, USA sculptor and philanthropist who co-founded the Whitney Museum of Art in 1930. Aware of the marginal position of women artists, she organized women-only exhibitions and ensured female artists were included in mixed shows. Let's sing to Emma Sandys, 1841 through 1877, English painter, part of the groundbreaking pre-Raphaelite sisterhood, a rare act of feminism for the time. It is a matter of writing a wholly new, different story about pre-Raphaelites, the story in which the activities of women are no longer accidental but necessary to the plot. Quote from Elizabeth Prettyjohn in The Art of the Pre-Raphaelites. Let's sing to Judith Unger, 1947, United States artist. I fell in love with sculpture at Rhode Island School of Design. Clay felt so right. The fluid sensuality in my hands, both Venice and Vermont, magnify the intensity of my work. I returned to my Vermont studio in an explosion of creativity. I need to sculpt and draw is essential to my existence.